I really have got to try and do more on this beetle, get my finger out and get this project done and start driving it. So next on the list is uh, this rear inner quarter here. Um, it's all mangled up, I'm basically going to cut this section all the way out and renew it. And when I get it out of the way, it'll give me an opportunity to weld in the rear of this heater channel. Uh, also this bolt's not lining up with the mount, so I'm going to have to elongate that or sight it properly. Hopefully you'll be able to see how off that hole actually is. So as mentioned that's now going to give me a chance to get a good weld on the rear of that heater channel there and also I'll be able to treat up up inside the area before I put this new section in. And of course my brace bar is in the way so I'm going to have to trim this little piece out here a bit at a time. Right, I've just hatched a plan of attack now, so I'm going to have this door off so I can access the uh, welding that needs to be done on that A-pillar and the front firewall section. And obviously, what well, I've talked about is getting that rear lower quarter section welded in. I've just treated up inside there with the rust preventative paint, so I'm all ready to go. And then hopefully that will be the welding pretty much done for this side of the car. So once I get that axle back on the bus, I can pull that out turn this beetle around and start on the other side. Just managed to get all those edges cleaned up now and what I've done is use the old transparent template and I've transferred that to new steel. Nice little fit up and under there. So it's ready for welding, just got to put some plug holes in here. So I've just got to make it look a little bit more prettier now. Just finishing up now, tidying those welds off along the edges with the old die grinder on the Dremel. You can get right in there, make them all flush. And the last thing to do is to weld this carpet strip on. Now I covered it in an old video, I believe. It originally came on the heater channel, so the carpet would have to fold over and then back under. But I'm going to reverse that now, so the carpet just slips right under there. And that's the carpet strip in. So I didn't get much filming done of that. I've actually realised that I'm still no good at plug welding. And um, the edges were a little bit jagged. So I've actually seam sealed that edge with some poor 15. And uh, a little bit of filler won't go amiss over them plug welds. So I think I'll just continue now with making some grinds on the welds up underneath that quarter. And getting all the welds down on that front section as well. <laughs> 